Rise and shine, everyone. I'm Lazy Gamer, and welcome back to Just Ignore Them. We last left off, we solved the puzzle to get out of our own bedroom. We have put lavender inside of our little mouse hole, and it's not a euphemism. And we're gonna continue this nightmare, this adorable nightmare. Let's. I can hear something inside. Maybe I should. Huh? Well, that's why I wanted to put the robot there, because I knew he was going to grab me with his dang old hands. He's got to get me. It's a closet for our bed sheets. There's breathing noise coming from inside. Is there? Let's put the robot here. Or not. Let's just move on. Let's move on, then. Because we can also do this. Just place that right on dang old thing right on right there. It never really comes out. Mommy's perfume. Screwdriver the vent. And then we're going to go for an adventure. I was going to say, I'm waiting for my blood to just... Um... Let's just keep on moving. There's a small slot here. It's scratching the number. 910. 910. Okay, 910. I don't need that. I'm going to save again. Just because I don't trust a goddamn thing. I usually love taking baths, but not when... But that water does not look inviting. I know Mommy's key is in here somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Found it! Hmm, maybe I should go or hold it. Uh, I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it just to see what it did. I knew I knew I was gonna. I don't really need to go. Yeah, no, I was just doing that for the lols, for the meme. Need to find the spare key. We have the spare key, love. Come on, kid. We've got this together. Nothing can hold us back. Mommy, mommy, you in here? Mom. She's dead. Mommy! No! She... She's just sleeping. I mean, why are you bleeding? I mean, I can save you. It's just a bad dream. I hope. There she was. Lying in a pool of her warm, shiny blood. It's funny. I knew this was coming. But it wasn't fast enough. And now, she's dead. Thanks. Dad. Ba -na -na. And thanks for the coffee. Don't mention it, we don't usually get customers at 5 a.m. Except for you, because you're the weird one that just comes and hangs out and talks about his dead mother. Sorry about that. I couldn't sleep. It's on your mind, hon. Have a... You know that feeling as if you're being watched, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Every time I finish my shift, I feel like someone's stalking me. Why? Is someone stalking you? Uh, sort of. Look, just forget it. You probably won't believe me anyway. Look, Mark. You've been in here every day for, what, five years now? You know you can talk to me about anything. Yeah, I know. Remember when I told you about my mother? We can forget... It was all over the news. I still remember it was as a little girl. September 4th, 2000. Yeah. You sure you want to talk about her? You get pretty upset about what happened. Just talk about it. No. It's okay. I want to. When I found her body. There was someone else in the room with us. Who? Did they murder your mother? No. She wasn't murdered. Do you know what day it is? September 4th. Sorry, Mark. She killed herself. Oh my gosh, that's... I'm so sorry, Mark. No, it's okay. But what I'm about to say, you definitely won't believe. Try me. It was... The monster. Monster? Look, Mark, you're under a lot of stress lately. I told you you wouldn't believe me. 
Sorry, Mark, it's a little far-fetched for me to believe, but I am sorry about what happened. It's okay. How about you start the story from yesterday morning after you found your mother? Sure you want to hear it? Yes, Mark. It's still 5.30. We don't open until 7. Okay. After I found her body. <gasps> you told. Achievement. Where do I go now? What do I do? Matter. They will still follow me. Until I give my last breath, they will find me. I hope she's safe. Whenever I mention them, people die. Yeah, she's dead. She's super, super dead, and it's my fault. I, I did that. Cool. Whoops. I have to keep on the road. I can never go back now. I've lived here for too long. I've met too many people. This is all I have ever known. And nothing will ever change that. There is no hope. Only pain. It's gonna be another six hour drive. Better stop and rest. Shouldn't follow me this far out. Need to get out of the rain. Welcome to the Dayfield Motel. I turn up the sound a lot. I can actually hear it this time. Howdy there. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. Name's Old Bill. How can I help you? Looking to spend the night. Do you have anything available? Well, I do have something. It ain't pretty. But it will keep your head dry. Thank you. Say, so why do you call yourself Old Bill anyway? You don't look that old. My <laughs> son, I'm barely 50. As a matter of fact, I just turned 49 the other day. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. No, it's okay, son. I ain't ashamed of my age. Oh, one more thing. All the phones in the rooms work, but come see me if you need the out call number. If I need to make a call, I know who to see. Thank you. All right. This may sound strange. May I ask what your birthday is? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Personal information, son. You just told me it was a few days ago. Yes, but not which day it was. <laughs> See you, son. Enjoy your stay. Better ask for a room key. Back here is employees only, i.e. only me. Sorry. Booking log? It's the registry book. Can't do anything with it. I'm not a thief. How do you survive, then? Da -da -da -da. Can't do anything with it. Huh? No tone. Must be a call-out number. Computer? It's a computer. You better not touch it, son. Quite a place. Quite a place you've got. Alright, I've already asked you several times. Am I good? Do I get a room now? I do. I have a room. I need to see someone about a room first. Your room key. I have the room key. I should get inside. Well, it is in the penthouse suite. Oh well, they managed to remove almost all the stains from the bed. Can't do anything with it. It's an old television. Probably hasn't worked in years. Can't do anything with it. Huh? No tone. Must need a call out number. Can't do anything with it. It's a creepy old wardrobe. There's little scratch marks in the back. Probably from small, some small animal. Huh? It's an old balcony. Don't that look safe? Can't do anything with it. Interesting concept. Lucky for me, I don't need to go. Interesting concept. Sure. It's a note. Dear guest, please do not try to open the glass sliding door to the balcony. The lock has been broken for some time, and forcing it will dislodge the door. Enjoy your stay. Let's just hop into bed. I suppose there's nothing else to do. Until the rain stops. Just fell back on the bed and gazed at the cracks in the ceiling. Thought I could finally have some time to myself. The more I gazed, the bigger the cracks would become. I had too much on my mind. I wonder if Mary was okay. She'd be opening up the diner about now. If I ever return to a normal life, I'll ask her out on a date. Soon enough, I fell asleep. 
I felt cold. Very cold. Like when I walked into mom's room. It's happening again. I can't sleep. I need to know if Mary's safe. I'll call the diner. She should still be working. But I need the call out number. Better go see the manager. We're into the new stuff now. I have not seen this. Have not seen this stuff. This has stopped raining. Huh? Where'd he go? You wish to look around. Not a thief. Eh, it's debatable. There's a strange looking key here. It says Bill's Happy Place. This guy has some issues. Computer. Maybe he has an alcohol number on his computer. His password protected. Great. It says if I forgot pa if I forgot password, find it on my birthday. Huh. Well, that's convenient. That's strange. It looks like someone has tried to enter the password. Better not tamper with it. Password protected. Yeah, yeah. You read that? God damn it. Guess Bill's not around to see me use his computer. What else we got here? I think do with it. Oh, I got Bill's key. All right. Let's assume it's that one. Yeah, that won't do anything. Can't do anything with it. I shouldn't peep. That's rude. That's your goddamn room. Mind your own business. But that's my window. And the prices, the prices are outrageous. I won't do anything. I need to use a key every time. Sure. I won't do anything. All right, never mind. I'm lost. Toolbox, maybe? Should I check the mailbox for a card? My toolbox. I'll take my screwdriver. Well, let's get my tool in here. I really should buy more tools. Can't do anything with it. Can't drive now. Can't do anything with it. It's a fire extinguisher. Thank you. Okay, let's assume I can crawl through the vent in my uh, in my room. That should be a thing. No. Nope. Do anything, won't do anything, won't do anything. Lose, lose, lose. There's a side. There's a side. All right, it's my bad, I guess. I'm sorry. Ugh. It took me way too long. After all, I didn't bring my toothpaste. Is that a thing? Can't do anything with it. Uh, Bill's happy place? This must be Bill's happy place. All right, good, we're advancing. Wow, I can feel the happiness already. Hey man, he's just doing him. Can't do anything with it. Someone has a good taste in whip uh, posters. Uh, nice uh, poster. I could possibly use the blades of this mower. Scaring the critters off at night. Which, okay, you insane person. Wait, I actually just took the blades off? Okay. I just punched that. I'm sorry. Hey, look, the radio it's not wet. Anything over here I can need or use? Let's see what's in the workbench. Hey, an oil can. I could use some on the bed in my room. It squeaks too much. It's an old washing machine. Huh, still works. Pry it open the crowbar. Power box? Really just fucking with this thing. Screwdriver. Cool. 
Look at those wires that I'm not going to touch. Hey, jumper cables. Why would Bill fuse these to the power box? I just... I'm just taking leap of logic after leap of logic. Please do not touch the power box to the right. I have modified the cables to charge my truck's batteries. I just explained why. I need to wash my hands. You sure? Did I get everything? That's ridiculous. It's no use. Blade. Okay, now I have an I have an oiled up mower blade. That seems safe. Don't it? That. Cool. I, I like a glove. Oh god, no, that's illegal. It's illegal as fuck, dude. Holy shit. Is that the other guest that's staying here? I better take the tape. This old Bill's... This old Bill is gonna get it. Wait. Is that... Oh, shit. I need to warn her in fast. Can't do anything. Can I leave and come back? Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. You're a sick person, Bill. I should report you to the police. <laughs> now, why would you go and do a thing like that for? You enjoyed the show as much as I did. I have more than one people around here, son. I don't have time for this. She's in great danger. I need to warn her. Not my concern, son. What only bothers me is what's in your hand. The tape? Give it to me. No. No way! I'm calling the cops. Good luck without the dial-out number. Oh. I go just warn her. I don't know. I don't know how he's peeping on her from the basement. She's in the basement peeping on the second floor. I hope I'm not too late. Hey, open up! You're not safe! I can hear something. The door's locked, I can't get in. So I need to find a key. I need to get in there now. I'm gonna break the lock with the mower blade. I don't need this anymore. Here goes nothing. Oh, thank God, she's it. Hey, I guess it's Barger didn't see my tits day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. No, no, just my, I'm so sorry to intrude, but, but, I, uh, hmm? Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, a monster almost ate you. You know, there are better pickup lines than that. Also, how exactly did you know that? Well, there's a peephole in your shower. Great. So tits and all, then. And I was worried about you, and I was worried you wouldn't get to see anything. I was looking for the call-out number for my, for my room's phone. I tried looking for the manager, but instead found a secret recording room. Yeah, and what proof do you have? Here's a videotape from the room with you on it. I'll take that, thanks. Hey, listen. Don't worry about it. If I knew that you were about to be eaten by a monster, I'd bust down your door, too. Didn't think you'd believe me. Well, I've heard more convincing stories from guys to get in my pants. That's a skirt you're wearing. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name, anyhow? It's Mark. I'm Paris. But everyone calls me Brie. Bray? Brie? Why Brie? Because I like the cheese. I don't know. It was just a nickname I had in high school. Look, I'm sorry to intrude. I'll leave. You got a car? I decided, yeah. Great. You can give me a lift to the new, next city tomorrow. Oh, can I? You can let me stay in your room, seeing as how you busted the lock on mine. Sure thing. Would you mind? Oh, sorry. I'll just wait outside. Do I actually wait outside? Sorry to barge in. See that? There's little sprites for each achievement. And you guys can't see them because I edit the uh, the screen kind of weird because I kind of have to because it's at a weird ratio. 
It does a weird thing. Don't worry about it. It's an editing thing. I, guess I better see how she's doing. I just hope Bree will be safe in here. How'd you get the glass door to open? I don't know. But we'll find out how Bree got the door to open next time. This game's a lot of fun. I have to be... I have to have an open mind about puzzle solving. Because I didn't think to look for a new area. I just kind of thought I was in that one area. But as time goes on, I'll get better at it. But up until then... Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and stick around. Leave a like if you enjoy. Share with a friend if they want to see some... Some not... Like... I'm gonna level with you. Stop the outro. Just stop the outro real quick. Just stop the music. Come on. Come on, outro music. This game is really well done. The fact that this was made by one person still blows my mind. You've had beta testers and you wrote it yourself. You did it yourself. That is amazing. If you want to try this game for yourself, the link is in the description. I could not recommend it more. There is puzzle solving elements, and there are a few leaps of logic. I just a little criticism. I, I, maybe I'm just too stupid, but there are a few leaps. But it's worth it. So far, the characters are actually funny. The writing is interesting, even if there are just a little few errors. Try it for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Anyways, if you want to see when I go live on Twitch, as well as follow me on all my other social media, check the links in the description below me, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. That's, that, that, that writing just threw me off. Just that, oh, guess it's bust in and see my tits day. Oh, <laughs> okay.